The day I got off the plane in Barcelona, my iPhone was stolen. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know where anything was. I was lost. I began leaving my apartment every morning and roaming the city. I had no idea where I was going. I just walked out the door. There's a pleasure in getting lost. It's like being in love. You're in the present. You're not surfing the internet or checking your email or staring down at a picture of the street that's right in front of you. You're engaged in the moment. When you know where you're going, you can forget where you are. I never forgot where I was, even though I hardly ever knew what street I was on. The city is not a two-dimensional set of lines you can follow with your finger on a touch screen. It's a mystery. You'll never understand it, and without GPS, you don't even try. Two wrongs make a right turn. Two right turns make the Church of the Black Madonna, and two left turns make a bar where you'll get your heart broken. Every wrong turn leads to something beautiful. I bought the cheapest photophone I could buy. No internet, no GPS. It was the day I bought it that I met him. I never found out where the bar we met was again. For me, it only existed that one night. When he asked for my number, I couldn't remember it. When I thought I had it right, I wrote it down on his hand. And that night when I got into bed, I prayed that it was the right number. It was. When I walked to meet him at his apartment, I got lost. When I got there and he opened the door and we kissed, I was lost again. He became the city. He became the mystery. I didn't come here to find myself, I told him. I came here to get lost.